Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Castle or David. Welcome back to our let's play of Pokemon Yellow. So we are here in the Saffron City gym, and uh, trying to get through this gym, we're gonna have to use these little teleporters, like uh, like the ones in Silco. So we are going to fight all the trainers here before we take on the gym leader. So hey, it helps with the experience. So we'll have to take on this guy. Sabrina is young, but she's also our leader. You won't reach her easily. So yeah. He just revealed the name of the Saffron City's gym leader. So we gotta fight against the Psychic. And that uh, basically just uh, gives away what uh, type of gym this is. This is the uh, Psychic type gym. So uh, Nido King really isn't the best choice for this uh, gym, but we'll see how it goes. Aw oh, man, that didn't take it down. I'm surprised it didn't even use a Psychic, a, a psychic move. I'll take it down with... Hopefully it'll go down with Double Kick. I hopefully ain't gonna... Nope. <laughs> I completely jinxed that. Oh my goodness. One HP! And a Growl attack. Huh. <laughs> I was off easily. Now it'll go down. There you go. Goodness. Goodness me. And another Slowpoke, so I'll switch out Nidoking. I will use Venusaur. And Venusaur necessarily isn't the best choice for this either. But hey, it's, it's a good choice to use against these Slowpoke. Should take it down with a good Razor Leaf. Yep. Love it. Gotta love it. And another Pokemon is a Slowbro. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll keep using Venusaur, why not? Should be able to take down the Slowbro. Which is, of course, uh, Slowbro is the evolved form of Slowpoke. Uh, but in the anime, it shows that um, a uh, shelter bites its tail, and that's what that shelter is. That's what the uh, thing on the end of its tail. I lost my concentration. Yeah, you sure did. And uh, after the shelter bit its tail, it evolved into Slowbro. And yeah, the shelter uh, changed into that uh, thing that's on the tail. Pretty weird, if you ask me. Let's see here. It really doesn't matter which uh, uh, combination we take, but to get to uh, Sabrina, you have to use uh, uh, the quick. So there's a quickest combination to uh, get to Sabrina, but like I said, I'm gonna fight all the trainers. I think it's most worth it. You know that power alone isn't enough. Yeah, you might think so. You might think so. We got yet another Psychic. This time he's got a Mr. Mime. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. I probably should switch uh, uh, Nido King with a different Pokemon. Because like I said, Nido King, even though he's probably my strongest Pokemon in my lineup, he's probably not the best choice to start off with during these, these fights. Ooh, level 41. We're getting somewhere with him. And next is Kadabra. So I'm going to switch to Lapras. And Kadabra is a pretty strong psychic Pokemon, so I don't want to risk a Needle King. But since we got Ice Beam, we'll uh, put it to good use here. Yeah, Confusion. That didn't do too much. And Ice Beam is such a lovely move. I use that move a lot. Oh, of course, he would use Recover. Use Sleazeball. And I just like how that looks, too. That's such a bad... That, such a badass move. Alright, he's just gonna keep using Recover. I'm just gonna put him to sleep. Fine then, be that way. Haha, <laughs> gotcha! Didn't miss this time around. Yay for me. Yay for me. I wanna keep uh, some of. Uh, I wanna keep some Ice Beam. Oh, wow! That was. Well, I can understand uh, uh, Ice Beam not doing very much because of his. Because of Kadabra's special. I can definitely understand that. I will take this one here so we can go to the one above them. Ah, great. I forgot to switch Nido King out again. Oh well. Does our insane power scare you? But the good thing is, whenever we uh, start to fight against Sabrina, we'll get a bit of a break. Before we take on um, her more powerful Pokemon, and Kadabra. So. 
really special uh, special type attacks are really the best way to go against a Pokemon like Kadabra. Should take. Yep. All right. Next is Slowpoke. Switch to uh, Venusaur. Really wish I could put uh, Pikachu to uh, more use, because if Pikachu is a bit stronger, he'd uh, really have a good, good time with these guys. But there's actually uh, some uh, surfing routes to where we can fight trainers in. Maybe Pikachu would get a good chance at them. Because most of uh, those trainers will have uh, Pokemon that are weak against Pikachu. Level 37 Venusaur. Uh, Mr. Mime. Uh, we'll switch to Charizard this time. Yeah, once again, I'm just rhyming. <laughs> Seems like I always keep making up rhymes on a whim. I just love him when I get one-hit crits. And yet another Kadabra. We'll keep Charizard out. Charizard is my second best, so... See if I can get, get him to at least maybe level 40 sometime in a little bit. Sometime soon he should level up. Once again, yet another good win. I never foresaw this. Sure you did. And the next one is... Uh, we'll take this one right here. And the good thing is, uh, every teleporter is labeled, so you know where you're going. Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for its psychics. You want to see Sabrina. I can tell. <laughs> well, duh. We obviously have to see Sabrina. You're stating the obvious there, Captain. Slowbro. Level 38. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not taking way too much of a risk. Because Psychic type move, Psychic type, yeah, that was. Wow, withdraw? You're kidding, right? I really don't want to risk it. I'll bring Blastoise out. I can't risk Nido King like this. I don't understand why they're not using uh, Psychic type moves. They have the best chance to. Uh... Wow, that did not do crap. Oh well. They're having the best chance of trying to take down my Nato King, but really they're not doing it. <laughs> Skull Bash isn't doing that much either. Well, looks like I have to switch to Venusaur. Oh, excuse me. Heh, <laughs> Water Gun. Heh. <laughs> not a good choice to use a move. Not a good choice. This should put it down. Yep. I gotta love it when things come together. Yes, of course, no level up. All that shared experience. Ah! <laughs> then we'll take this one so we can go to that one, this room over here. Oh! Sabrina's younger than I, but I respect her. Well, it's more of these women, these channelers that were from the uh, Pokemon Tower. So yeah, ghost types. At least it won't be too much of a struggle like it was back in the Pokemon Tower. So Earthquake should put him down with ease. Oh, that was a critical. Wait far beyond. Oh, um, far beyond ease. And then the Haunter. Once again, an Earthquake. Earthquake will put him down. I uh, should. Yep, alright. So, yet an easy one. Not good enough. And look at how Pikachu's standing on the teleporter. I'm surprised Pikachu is not getting teleported. Uh, let's see. It'll be the one right here to uh, get to this trainer. Then, of course, we'll take on the trainer below us, and then we'll go right towards Sabrina. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough, then. So, yeah, we got two more of these trainers to fight before we take on Sabrina. So, just a single Pokemon. Of course, that's a Haunter. Yeah, actually, these could be very easy wins for uh, Nidoking. Because the good thing is we weren't really... 
have the threat of psychic attacks from these Pokemon if they go down. So, good thing that Haunter did. Okay, just one more. I knew it. And we have to take this teleporter right here. Okay, so last trainer before we take on Sabrina. You and I, our Pokemon, shall fight! Kind of reminds me of a certain Megadeth song of how it is. This day we fight. Hmm, that reminds me. I gotta do... I gotta try and go for that song. I gotta try and go for that song on Guitar Hero. But that's that's gonna be another time. So, all three of these, uh, all three of these uh, last earthquakes should put them should put the these uh, ghost Pokemon down. Level 42. Wow, that was pretty quick of leveling up. Once again, yet another Ghastly. Another Ghastly down for the count. And I'm guessing it's a Haunter? Yep. It always seems that their last Pokemon is the evolved form of a, the uh, other Pokemon that they've been using. This will definitely put down the Haunter. Alright. Well, that's all the Earthquakes that I've used up, but... Of course, we probably won't use Earth Earthquake. I lost after all. Yes, you did. We probably won't use Earthquake at all during this gym fight. So... So I guess it's not a biggie. And it's this teleporter right here, which leads to Sabrina. So here we are. I'm going to do a safety save. Because Sabrina is going to be pretty tough. Could be pretty tough. So I'm going to go for all King this time. Hey guys, sorry about that. I had to uh, take care of a little bit of something uh, off screen. Once again, I seem to forget about the whole uh, house errands and whatnot dur during these Let's Plays. Sorry about that. Excuse me. So, actually, I'm going to go uh, back to the Pokemon Center so we can get uh, Nidoking fully healed because I want to at least maybe use Earthquake just in case of the... Uh, just in case if it doesn't... Uh, just in case if things start going a little bad and I'm going the wrong way. Rats. Okay, so okay, now I can uh, now I know where I'm going. And then this teleporter right here. All right, now we're back. Okay, so quick trip to the Pokemon Center so we can have uh, Earthquake ready because Earthquake could be a very still could be a very good move to use because like I said, these uh, psychic Pokemon like uh, Abra and Kadabra uh, seem to not really. Had that much uh, uh, defense in terms of uh, physical attacks like Earthquake. But uh, uh, moves like uh, Ice Beam don't really work very well on these Psychic type Pokemon. Because these, because Abra and Kadabra are, have pretty good, uh, uh, have pretty good special, so special attacks really aren't going to be that useful on them. Okay, so now we'll go right back to the gym so we can have uh, Earthquake. Uh, ready to be used. Because Earthquake could be a pretty good use move. <laughs> Damn, I can't talk. Earthquake could be a pretty good move to use against these Pokemon. Against uh, Sabrina's, to be more precise. So we'll take the uh, same uh, combination to get to Sabrina. Uh, this one. And this one. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and resave it here. So I can get the whole trip back to the Pokemon Center out of the way. And let's do it. I had a vision of your arrival. I've had I've had psychic power since I was a child, which was seen in the anime. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Sixth gym battle in the game against psychic type gym leader Sabrina. Her first Pokemon is this level 50 Abra. The Abra is really not the threat to uh, worry about here in this fight. Because we can take it down pretty easily with an Earthquake. Because the only move that Abra may only knows is Flash. How however, if it lowers your accuracy, that can be a bit of a problem. Just a little bit, maybe not much. Okay, so the Abra is taken care of. Next up is this level 50 Kadabra. So Earthquake hopefully should still do well. And good thing Kinesis missed, even though Kinesis really is a move that lowers your uh, 
accuracy, so... Should go down? Yep. Alright. So our first two Pokemon are down. This Pokemon, this next one right here is probably the one I'm most worried about. The level 50 Alakazam. So hopefully this will go well. An X defend. Pretty wise of Sabrina. So we'll s hopefully this will go well. Or at least do some good amount of damage to it. So let's see here. Ah, just a little bit. Right at halfway. Psy Wave. Oh, man. Well, at least uh, Psy Wave didn't really seem to do very much. Awesome. All right. Hopefully this will make it go down. Come on, come on, please. Yes! All right. All right. That went a lot better than I thought. Level 43. Awesome. And down goes Sabrina. I'm shocked. But wait a minute. You weren't defeated by an electrical attack. How can you be shocked through that? I'm just, I'm just making common sense here. Give me a break. But a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. Once again, that went a lot better than I thought. The Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. Ash received TM46. TM46 is Psy Wave. He uses powerful psychic waves to inflict damage. So we've got Psy Wave. Probably not going to really use that, uh... Probably not going to use that TM, even though Psy Wave is a pretty decent move. But, uh, still. Like I said, I'm not going to really use that many TMs that much. Only the more useful ones. That, uh, in, in my opinion, I think are more useful. So I'll go ahead and uh, deposit TM46 really fast. Before, uh... We, uh... Let's start uh, going back to Pal Down and work and work our way south, because there is one more gym uh, before we can uh, take on the Viridian City gym, and that is the uh, town that's south uh, south of Pallet Town. Excuse me. So a good quick heal is not a problem, never a problem. Go ahead and deposit TM46, and uh, there's actually one thing I want to uh, go ahead and check. Uh, uh, before we uh, go to the uh, city south of uh, Palatown. I'm going to go ahead and deposit Pikachu really fast. And I'm going to bring uh, Pidgey back out. So we can go to Fuchsia. And I'll deposit TM46. And of course I'm going to keep the X accuracies with me so I can use the Horn Drill uh, trick. Okay, so yeah, I've got Pidgey with me. I'm gonna go ahead and fly to Fuchsia really fast. Because I want to make sure if I've gotten uh, uh, this one particular item. It requires strength, so uh, I want to be I want to be able to sh make sure if I've got it real fast. So I'll go ahead and uh, trade Pidgey for Snorlax. So that way, so that way we can use strength. And then afterwards, we'll uh, go to Powell Town and uh, work our way down south. Uh, Snorlax, excuse me. Because now we'll be able to use uh, Surf and uh, Strength outside of battle. So we'll go into the Warden's house. Yeah, I thought so. We don't have this. Have this item. So I was going to go in and... Uh, use uh, strength. I need to get Snorlax up. So we'll go ahead and get this item really quick, which is a rare candy. Awesome. And I forgot to uh, heal a Snorlax, too. So, heh, why not? I'll go ahead and do that really, really fast. And then, like I said, we'll go to Pal Town and work our way uh, south. But there is something I'm going to have to... Uh, uh, another little errand I'm going to have to do really, really fast, uh, which should take maybe about a minute before we uh, continue to do so. I mean, like I said, I do apologize for having to do a bit too many errands during that happened, that occurred during these Let's Plays. 
So, I mean, at least I'll be able to cut them out thanks to that kind of magic. So, <laughs> you guys don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we got the rare candy. Snorlax is not required uh, uh, at this point, so... Uh, get Pidgey back out. So that way we can uh, fly to Palatown. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to the edge of the water. Actually, as a matter of fact... Actually, I'll just go up to Viridian. So that way I can get Pikachu back here, because I want to uh, get Pikachu with us. This could be a good uh, chance to get some good experience with Pikachu. Because like I said, most of these trainers here uh, that we're going to be encountering in the water, mainly going to have water-type Pokemon. And I think Pikachu would be a very good use for it. So I can at least maybe make... Just make Pikachu better. I mean, because like I said, I'd like to uh, get Pikachu up at a higher level. I'd love to. Okay, so with not that much to deal with here uh, going down from Viridian. Then I'll just get to the water's edge and I'll go ahead and take care of my uh, uh, quick errand. Before we go down uh, south of Palatown. Oh, of course, I just had to run into a Pokemon right outside of Palatown. A Rattata. Now I'm going to uh, switch uh, to Pikachu being out front so I can use him a lot. Alright, so now we're back at Palatown. Here's the edge of the water. I'll go ahead and switch uh, uh, Nido King. Uh, switch, make Pikachu be out front. And uh, we'll go ahead and start to uh, surf. And I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, I am back. So, like I said, the uh, errand did not take long at all. And I'm hoping that I'm not making a pretty bad choice, because we're going to be mainly encountering water-type Pokemon. Okay, level 5. <laughs> so... I'm hoping I'm not making that much of a big risk with Pikachu. Because I think this may be a good, really good opportunity for Pikachu to get all this experience. You want to know if the fish are biting? I'm surprised that even though I'm right next to him, it's not even triggering the battle. I'd, I'd have to talk to him to be able to do that. So yeah, Fisherman Seeking. Oh boy. Oh, 28. That's not a bad level. Should uh, probably... Still do some good damage with a good Thunderbolt. Oh, wow. Supersonic. Okay, good. It missed. Awesome. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Critical hit. That's going to be a pretty decent experience. Level 26. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Next is Goldeen. So, yeah, these Thunderbolts are really doing the wonder. Ah, rats! Supersonic. And there's actually, there's one thing I could uh, grab. Uh, uh, that could be really useful for Pikachu. Ah, uh, 666 experience. Devil's number. I'll try and stick with Pikachu throughout this entire thing. Because actually, I forgot to uh, go to this uh, certain area. Okay, awesome, Pikachu. Didn't even get hurt. Uh, that to get a, a TM that has a very good wow, one HP after all that, rads, dude. Wow, good grief. Well, that went well. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go back to uh, Britain and heal up after all. Good grief. Would have been very great experience for Pikachu. Can't believe I got utterly screwed like that. And uh, since I'm uh, out of the water, I'm going to go to this uh, place that's next to the water that's right beside uh, Cerulean City. Because there is a surfing area that will take us to a... Uh, um, the location to where I get a, a good, very good... Uh, an elect good electric type move for Pikachu. 
It can be very useful to use, too. I can't believe I got screwed out of that. Well, back to Viridian we go. <sighs> it could really help us in these uh, later fights to have that particular TM. And we'll be able to uh, run into one of the legendaries as well. So that's your little spoiler. <laughs> I don't mean to do that. I hate to uh, kind of spoil the whole legendary thing, but at least we'll be able to have our first encounter with a legendary. So I'm going to go and... Uh, uh, trade uh, Pikachu for Pidgey. So that way we can go to uh, Cerulean. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we may have to uh, take... Uh, no, we'll take Cerulean, because like I said, I don't want to go through all the way around uh, 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 through... Uh, uh, dark cave. Uh, rock tunnel, excuse me. Now I'm trying to find where this particular area, the inside of this area that we're going for. I'm trying to find it here. Aha, here we are. All right. All right, I finally found it via layout. Ah, poor Pikachu. And I'm going to uh, bring back uh, Pidgey. Then I'll switch to Oddish, so that way we can use Cut. And then at the Pokemon Center that's right outside of Rock Tunnel, we'll bring back Pikachu. So, Cerulean City. Then bring Oddish to use Cut in the route next to it. Then at the Pokemon Center that's right next to Rock Tunnel, we'll bring back Pikachu. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Must have ate a bit too much for lunch. Okay, so... Temporarily... Put Pidgey out. Wow, it seems like we're having to use uh, Pidgey a lot. I mean, of course we are. We are going to be flying around a lot. And there's Oddish. We'll get on the bike. Oh, wait, there's a tree that we can cut down here. Duh. <laughs> Sometimes it keeps uh, making me forget. I don't know why, though. I guess that happens. Then we'll have to cut this tree. Then straight to the Pokemon, that Pokemon Center next to Rock Tunnel, we go. Because there's this, uh, like I said, there's this area that we can uh, uh, get to by surfing. And then we'll be able to get a uh, one of the legendaries there. So I'm hoping I do have, uh, I do have Ultra Balls. I do want to make sure. Okay, yeah, I do. 12? Eh, I should be good with 12. Okay, so we'll bring back Pikachu. Uh, I want to check on the uh, stats of this Pokemon that we're going to be looking at. Okay, so I always want to make sure of this, uh, of what uh, moves that this particular legendary learns. So, 
I'm definitely going to go ahead and use that TM on uh, Pikachu. So, a Pikachu, we're going to be using Pikachu quite a lot. Okay, so now I'll just go right up to this little water current. Man, I can't believe it's already been uh, at this point to where we can uh, go for our first legendary. And we'll start surfing. Such a very nice tune, isn't it? And there's one trainer that we're going to fight really fast. Right here. Wow, are you a Pokemaniac too? Want to see my collection? I think I've got a bunch better collection than you do, buddy. But let's see what you've got. You've only got two Pokemon. Such a collection you... Wow, a Rhyhorn. Pretty, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Probably not going to take it down. Oh, wow, it does. <laughs> and next is a Lickitung. We'll actually bring out Nidoking. I'm actually going to want to uh, uh, put Nidoking out in front for this particular legendary. So I don't want to forget that. Do that until we take it down, this Lickitung. Wow, it didn't even do that much against the Lickitung. Defense Curl. Wow. These AI can be kind of dumb sometimes. Sometimes. Oh well. It can't be helped, I suppose. Hmm. I'm not angry. I don't know, dude. You sounded pretty angry. Okay, so Nido King out in front. And here we go into the power plant. Unfortunately, I don't have the hidden items uh, written down for this particular location. But we'll take care of them uh, eventually. So we'll start off going off over right here. Because here's a Carbos, our first item. There are no trainers in here, just a uh, pretty good collection, pretty good uh, collection of items that we can get hidden here before we take on the legendary. Here's the next item. Not. Not an item. <laughs> I fooled you guys right there. Here's a Voltorb. So yeah, this is where, where we start the case of Pokemon acting as items. Particularly this Voltorb here. Okay, so at least the good thing is the uh, map here and the guide uh, labeled these uh, labeled these uh, as uh, as items. So that way we can avoid the Pokemon and actually go straight for the items. Uh, this one right here is the item. TM33, which is Reflect. Definitely not going to use that. And uh, the next item's over here. Oh, Pokemon. A Magneton. This could be a pretty good experience for Nido King. So I'm just going to be using Earthquake quite a bit. Actually, as a matter of fact, whenever we go and take on this Legendary, I'm going to want to use Lapras so I can put it to sleep and start using uh, uh, pretty good moves to use against it. A Grimer. But at least it's a good uh, way of just going completely blasting through this with Nido King. Okay, the next item's right over here. And this is the one I was trying to go for. TM25. Thunder. The strongest electric type move in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, teach uh, Thunder to Pikachu. Now, uh, the thing is, Thunder can uh, be taught to Pikachu, but Pikachu learns it at a very late level. To, for Thunder. And the level uh, Pikachu learns uh, Thunder is at level 50 is when uh, Pikachu learns it. It's pretty late. Pretty late of a level. So we'll go ahead and at least uh, teach Thunder. 
Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look for any other moves that I might use for Pikachu. Uh, no, there isn't. Let's see. Uh, try to figure out which move I should get rid of for Thunder for Thunder, because it's always it's always a good uh, idea to have. Uh, uh, not all uh, electric type moves, so I'm trying to figure out which normal type I should get rid of. I'm definitely going to want to keep the uh, electric type moves. Let's see. Uh, you know, I'll go and get rid of Slam. Because Quick Attack is very helpful. It always it always is the first attack, so I'll go and get rid of Slam. I really don't like the accuracy for Slam. It's just not, not helpful. Not very helpful at all. But whenever we get to the Legendary, I'll put Lapras out in front. At least try it out. And then the last two items are are up here. Up here in this little area. <sighs> oh boy, excuse me. And this area oh damn it. Another encounter. A magnemite. So, another sleazy Magnemite. Jeez, way too many encounters getting in my way just to get these items. Another Magnemite. <laughs> I wonder if I... I wonder if that was... This, excuse me. I wonder if that was the same Magnemite that we just ran away from. Okay, a rare candy. Always helpful. So yeah, we're going to be stocking up on quite a couple of rare candies. And the last item's right here. And the HP up. So we got all five items in here. And the rest of the, uh... Uh, the, uh... Pokeballs that you see on the ground are, uh... Enemy Pokemon. So we won't bother with them. Even though they could give us, uh... Uh, just a little bit more extra experience. But really... I don't really see that much of a point in really... Going through the trouble. While we could a bit get a, a lot more experience through the trainer... Through the trainer battles. So, just up ahead will be the Legendary. Then, of course, I will do a safety save, because you may never know what's going to happen. Just in case just in case things don't go well the first time. I'm hoping it would. Or I'm hoping it just goes well, period. I'm sure everybody else expects that. Or, or hopes that, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Wow. All right. It's our first legendary encounter right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch uh, Lapras out in front. Do a little safety save. And and the, the thing is, he's actually facing that way, so he's not facing us. Okay, so... <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, I've actually... Uh, changed my mind about this. I really do apologize for having to spoil the uh, legendary encounter, but I forgot to uh, mention that the legendary Pokemon is very powerful. A bit more powerful than my current lineup, so... Uh, and it's going to be a bit of a struggle to catch, so I'm not even going to bother at this point. I do apologize, but, but don't worry. We will definitely catch uh, this uh, particular legendary at a later point. Maybe whenever we... Uh, Start trying to go through the, uh, after our, uh, last gym battle, we'll definitely catch, uh, catch this legendary. So, once again, I really do apologize. But it's gonna be a bit, way too much of a struggle with what I've got right now. So I'll go ahead and, uh, uh, go back down, uh, uh, to Pallet, to Pallet Town. And uh, continue where we were with uh, uh, heading down south to the uh, next city. But don't worry. Getting the, le the legendary Pokemon will definitely happen. But like I said, it's going to be a bit later. The, ma the main reason why I was wanting to go through the power plant was to uh, get uh, Thunder to teach to Pikachu. Because it can be a lot better. A little bit of a better time of having better moves for Pikachu. 
Uh, you! Old oh, man, just had to step in front of me. Good grief. Okay. Because like I said, I really want to give uh, Pikachu some love in this part. We could probably give Pikachu a hell of a decent amount of exp experience with this part. I wanted to ensure that I was going to make him uh, make Pikachu have at least one non-electric type move. Because I think it would be a bad idea to have a, a, a Pokemon learn like all moves of one particular type. It's a very bad idea in my opinion. Like I know Venusaur, Venusaur's moves are almost all grass types. I'm going to want to make it have a move. A good move that's uh, better than Tackle anyway. Oh, forgot to put uh, Pikachu out front. But I'll do that uh, whenever we get to the edge of the water. Alright, switch Pikachu up front this time. And let's get to surfing. So hopefully Pikachu will have a better time, since now he has Thunder. Which is the uh, best uh, Electro-type move in the game. And I'm hoping I don't run into any level 30, like tentacle, like level 30 tentacles or whatnot. So here's going to be a pretty, num a pretty good number of trainers to fight. Uh, down this route. Let me just get back to where I was. Alright, here we go. 